Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys how you can check your iPhone for viruses and spam and also how to make sure that you get rid of them from your device. Now virus on the iPhones is not really that common. It will happen very, very rarely and under certain circumstances. So in this video, I will tell you guys how can that happen? And of course, what you should check to make sure that you don't have any on your device. And of course, if you have what you can do to make sure you remove them from your device. Now, first of all, probably you have seen on different websites, there are sometimes pop-ups, they look like ads, but they say that your iPhone has viruses and you should scan that. Now, of course, that's not legit. You should never go for that. That's just like spam. And of course, we will get to that a bit later. But first of all, let me show you guys how you can get a virus on your iPhone. Now, there are two different ways. Basically, these are the main ways and may, might be the only ones in which you can get a virus on your device. First of all, if you don't use App Store to install apps. Now, there are third party app stores that you can use or third party websites that you can use to actually install apps on your device. And if you don't install an app officially from the App Store, then you have exposed your iPhone to viruses. There might be apps that are actually infected with a virus and that of course will send the virus to your iPhone. Now the great thing about iPhones is that it will stop it on the send box. So iPhone has a thing called like send box, which won't allow it to move from that particular app into the other apps that you have on your device. So if you get an app with a virus, it won't go to the other apps. That's the easiest way to explain it. Now you can also have a jailbroken device and that might be a thing that also might give your device a virus. Now I've used jailbroken device all my life, basically since I have an iPhone and never got a virus. Why? Because you should never go ahead and install tweaks from like third party repos that hack tweaks and just that are not reliable. Always make sure that you install them from official repos that you get on Stadia and of course repos that you know that are legit. Otherwise, if you go ahead and just add different like cracked crack tweaks on Cydia, then you might get a virus on your device. Now, another thing that you can get on your iPhone is spam like this. When you go on different websites, sometimes you see like something like an ad or something, and it shows a pop-up like this that basically asks you to scan your iPhone. Now, I've had this happen myself. I tried these and usually what they do, they sometimes they add like a calendar to your calendar, you might have seen that, we will get to that in a second. And sometimes they just take you to the iMessage app and try to send a message somewhere. So that's spam that usually you can get by visiting different websites and this happens quite a lot. So you should be aware of these. And of course, if it happens a lot on different websites, then you might have like cookies or something data saved on your browser from this website, this particular website, and it might b basically pop up even if you're on another website. So what you should do is of course, go ahead and make sure you have removed the data from that website. Now, of course, the easiest way to do that is to go to settings and go ahead and find Safari. So let me just find it here. Here we have Safari. Now you will have a way here. If you don't wanna clear all of the data, you can go ahead and go here to advanced and you have website data here and you can go ahead and just choose any website that you're suspicious of and remove its data. Or what you can do is just go ahead and clear history and website data from here, just clear all of them completely and that should do the work and you shouldn't have any more of those pop-ups or redirections. Now, of course, if you go into any of those websites again, you, they might pop up, but if you just have them there on Safari popping up or redirecting you all the time, this should fix it. And as I said earlier, a usual spam that you get on your iPhone is just like a website or something like that, a pop-up installing a calendar on your device. That has happened a lot and I've seen a ton of people report that. Now the way to fix that is just simply by removing it from the calendars. Now here I have one that I just installed just basically to show you guys. So here you can see I have 
basically events every day and i have installed here an mba calendar this is of course something that i just installed myself just to prove the point here and show you guys how to remove that now if you have a calendar installed you will see here all kinds of different events on your calendar the way to remove that is by going to settings go to calendar and right here will find accounts right here we'll find subscribed accounts so basically those links so those spams will subscribe you to a certain calendar you go here go here and simply tap on delete account and now you're good to go you have deleted that account and all of those events that that spam has added to your calendar should now be gone and you can see right here everything now is gone as we said at the beginning, if you're suspicious that you have a virus on your device, maybe you installed an app from a third party website or any suspicious tweaks, then there are a few things that you can do. First of all, check if that app is actually redirecting you somewhere every time you open it or just like consuming a ton of battery. Now, of course, you can do that by going to settings and actually go ahead and go to battery and right here will find a list of all the apps that you have installed on your device and you should see here all the percentage of battery that they have used and by tapping there you also see how much you have used those apps now if these don't go along together so you have like high percentage of battery used and low minutes on that app then you know that there's something suspicious with that app so always make sure to check the battery levels that they the apps have used and of course you will see there if there's su something suspicious and what you can do is also check if your iphone is overheating sometimes right here on this part on the back where the processor is it might overheat there that means that there's something going on on the processor in the background so you should be aware of that so basically these are the main things that you can do just make sure that you go ahead and delete any apps that are like redirecting you or sending you to a website or something like that of course you do that with apps you have maybe installed from a third party website because apps from the app store won't do that now again just check the battery levels here and see which app is using most of your battery and of course if it goes along with the time that you have used that app for and always make sure that you check if your iphone is overheating and if the battery is draining when you're not doing anything on your device if you suspect that your device might actually have a virus then there are a few things that you can do now the first of them the very simple one is just rebooting your device first of all just reboot your device if you see your iphone just not behaving correctly or like overheating or something like that make sure that you just reboot your device and see if that will fix the problem after that didn't work what you can do is go ahead and do a backup for of your device and then restore it now the best way is to do that through iCloud if you can go ahead and just back up your device to your iCloud all you gotta do is just go to your profile on the settings app and make sure that you have here iCloud backup turned on and of course you will see everything here that you will back up on iCloud and make sure you do that now this is the best way to go because if you go ahead and just back up through iTunes it will actually bring back everything on your device once you have restored from a backup which might also carry the same problem again you can try that and see if that will fix the problem but usually that might just bring back the old problem to your iPhone now of course the best way to do this is to do a clean restore so you can go ahead and just clean restore your device just download the I IPSW or just do it through iTunes and just do a clean restore of your device now if you don't want to use a computer you can also go to settings and go to general and down here on reset you can go ahead and just tap erase all content and settings and this will basically bring your iphone to its factory default and just completely delete everything and start as new and this is of course the sure way to go this will completely delete everything ever like bad or malicious software that you might have on your device but again as I said at the beginning of the video, this is something that very rarely happens and it will happen only on certain circumstances. If you don't visit any shady websites, you don't actually install any tweaks from any shady repos because as I said, the official ones are, I believe, 
very clear to go. And if you don't install apps from third party websites, then you should be good. Your iPhone shouldn't have any problems. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully none of these will ever happen to your iPhone. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video as it helps out a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.